let's talk about Rayleigh quotient today. Um, so let's motivate this a little bit and then we'll see why we're talking about the Rayleigh quotient and we'll see why I wanted to put this out before I go to my next video on power iteration which uses this. Um, so let me let me pose the question, given a matrix A living in R M by M and an eigenvector V living in R M, um, we have the eigenvalue problem AV equals lambda V where lambda is the eigenvalue corresponding to the eigenvector V. Now, what if I asked very simply, all right, cool, can you give me lambda from this? Give me the eigenvalue. How would you do it? Um, looking at it right away, you notice, well, you know, I know this expression holds true, AV equals lambda V. AV maybe is another vector, I'll call it U, that matrix vector multiply gives me some vector, and that's also equal to lambda V still. And I can take the element by element division and then get what lambda is, and I mean, I can just divide each element in U by each element in V, that should hold. I can also just take an element out of U and divide it by an element out of V, but what if there's some elements in V that are zero? Um, how's that gonna work? So it's not really a really robust approach. So let's try something else. Let's take, um, you know, this thing, um, AV equals lambda V. Let's multiply both sides here by V transpose. Let's see what happens. V transpose lambda V. And we know lambda is a scalar. We can go ahead and squeeze it out. So we'll go ahead and have this expression. Now, if we notice, all of a sudden, this is a scalar. All of a sudden, this whole thing becomes a scalar. And so we can just go ahead and do some simple algebraic division and end up with lambda is equal to VTA v divided by v t v. And that is the Rayleigh quotient. Now, given an eigenvector v. So we've gone ahead and found lambda. Check. Generally, we can define the Rayleigh quotient. Um, so let's just go ahead and give it a general um, definition. So given a vector x, and again, let's just make sure it lives in Rm. R of x is equal to x transpose a x all over x transpose x. That's the Rayleigh quotient. Excuse my gorgeous handwriting. Um, now, for x, that's an eigenvector. R of x, like we just showed, will be the eigenvalue. And for a general x, um, we will have the property um, r of x is equal to alpha, where um, that minimizes this expression ax minus lambda x. And that can be useful in machine learning problems and any problem we're doing a, a kind of a, a fitting so great, that's Rayleigh quotient, super simple. Where does it apply? I mean, there's so many applications, but what I wanna point you to is next, is how it applies in power iteration. What's power iteration? Super, super simple, super cool algorithm. Given A, a matrix, again, an R, M by M, find the maximum eigenvalue and corresponding eigenvector. You'll see that if you stick around, watch the next video on power iteration.